that's not my camel. That's my wife. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, that joke is always so funny to me. Mm. Yeah, I, I heard it you. from this one comedian in the square. Oh. <laughs> I wish I made that joke. Hello there. Hey, Dad. Welcome to the fun! I just told one of my favorite jokes. You missed it! <laughs> you, uh, need some food? Need anything? You hungry? Uh, you Thirsty? Have? I got water, I got fish, because that's what you like to eat, right? Fish? Yeah. <laughs> How about you try... I gave you... I think I gave you some fish dinner last time. Do you mm -hmm. eat vegetables? Uh, sometimes. Right. Let's, um, let's just stick to the fish dinner for now. We'll, we'll, we'll try to migrate from, to something else later, right? Oh, sorry. Ah! Oh, did you want something to drink as well? Have you ever had soda? Soda. I don't know. Hmm. Well, we'll see how you react to it. We'll get you one of the um lighter sodas, lemon lime. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorites. Here. Uh, soda has carbon dioxide pumped into it, so it has little bubbles in it. Yes, it's a little bit um sort of uh, spicy almost. If you could describe mm -hmm. it. I guess kind of prickly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you like the soda? <laughs> it's good. Go yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, things like that are delicious. There are so many delicious foods on the earth. So many delicious foods that humans come up with and make. I think my favorite, though, has got to be bread. Yeah. I mean, humans have a lot of flaws, but you can't fault them on their ingenuity. Mm. Oh, not at all. Their creativity is beyond its bounds, really. Mm-hmm. And they'll probably advance even more into the future. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if one day there are flying, um... Flying... Carriages? Flying something. Yes! Carriages. Carriages, flying carriages. Maybe even flying horses. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe, uh... Uh, buildings so tall you can't even see the top clearly. Oh, or... Or giant places with, 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 with motorized carriages. Yeah. So you don't have to rely solely on horses or just walking. Mm -hmm. Or maybe a, a way to share music without having to go out to hear a band. Oh, wouldn't that be lovely? You could hear music from all over the world. Yeah. Barely would be a beautiful place if the humans just put their minds to it. Mm-hmm. You're not a fan of humans. Keep getting caught in their neck. Mmm. Mm. That is very fair. They have a lot of potential, but they have a tendency to be cruel. They never fucking They're clean out the ocean. Thing. Killing all the fish around here. Yeah, that's actually- that's gonna become a big issue. Mm -hmm. With how much the, the people are so careless about it. Poor Earth. Mm. That's a lot of- Wow! You find all your gold in the ocean? Yes. I have a lot of mm. shiny things. Mm, probably pirates. Those crazy you must, people. You must have a really good eye for shiny objects. <laughs> shiny. <laughs> 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 
you know, with no pupils, you're still very expressive. Sorry, sore topic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, you came actually at a good date. The tavern's pretty quiet today. Thankfully, it is. Don't like us. Yeah, I agree. It, I understand how draining it is being around a bunch of people you don't know consistently. Yes, right. it does get draining. To be fair, I haven't mm. been on anyone in a couple years now. <laughs> Which is even more fair as to why you may not be the best socializer. Yeah. And Getting being around many people can give you anxiety. Mm -hmm. Getting used to a life that's mostly on your own makes it very hard. Mm-hmm. I'm used to being involved with people. Well, with us around, you don't have to get used to being alone anymore. Hmm. You're tough. Well, at, le at least unless you, don't. you want to. Unless you want to be alone. Mm -hmm. And everyone wants to be alone from time to time. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the moments you're alone are the moments you enjoy the most. Hmm. But at the same time, sometimes the moments with other people can really brighten your day. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, when I first met my assistant, Alex, you, you met him the day on the dock. I, oh, why the face for Alex? Call me short. <laughs> Apologies, that does seem like him. Like I didn't push him in the water. He can't swim, so no. yes, very lucky. <laughs> yeah, be, be careful around with him in water. No problem. But uh, when I first met Alex, the day that I did meet him, I could automatically tell there was something different about him. Him and his uh, aura. It was when he walked in on me one day and I didn't have my blindfold on and I was mixing potions and he figured out I was a demigod. But all's well all's that ends well, I guess, because he was one too. For son of Loki, that boy is so not nah. mischievous. <laughs> oh, he's nothing like his father, trust me. Otherwise, he would be nowhere near me or my shop. Yeah. Come on, right? He's sweet and kind, a little flirtatious, but Ugh. still. Oh, don't tell me he flirted with you. I'll take that as a yes. Yes, uh... I've been scolding him about that since day one. You put him in a bubble? Oh. That's a very... interesting magic. I swear, if you make fun of me for it. I'm not going to make fun of you. It actually seems really useful being able to temporarily immobilize your opponent and put them in a position that immediately able to return to fighting is a really useful thing. Yeah. I just try not to fight, I guess. Mm -hmm. Most of the time. There are a bunch of people. I'm a pacifist, personally. I don't like fighting if I don't have to, but if I have to, I can give a pretty good beat down if I do say so myself. Where's that yeah. Alex keeps being a sharp tongued barracuda? I'm gonna fucking put him in the bubble again. Sharp tongued barracuda? That From is the quite the nickname. <laughs> <laughs> oh, be careful near the fire. I know what fire it is. Not dumb. I'm just saying, <laughs> be careful. 
Yeah. I've had me- I've had I've had Briar running around all day. Okay. She's They are like a tiny child. <sighs> Though cute. Very nerve wracking. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, a lot of kids are. Mm. Very curious about everything, though. And I'm mm-hmm. glad I'm able to bring that energy around them. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> you know, I personally don't have much fighting experience. Uh, if I do get in a dangerous situation, I try to uh, find a way out. Because I'm not oh. really that physically capable. It's oh, best to Emiel. run than to fight. Most of the time. I mean, mm-hmm. you seem like the type of person who, if you get on your nerves a little bit too much, you'd snap. And you. Uh, I. Not not swords. I don't. I doubt they'd snap at you. It, trust me, it takes a lot to get me to snap. And, you know, well, when that does happen, it's usually more angry, but uh, in, like, a fight, uh, I just kind of panic. I think fighting can be good for the soul. Hmm. Takes out a lot of unneeded anger. Mm Mm-hmm. And arguments and debates are good for building relationships and setting boundaries. Exactly. If there wasn't a reason for anger, whether we wouldn't have it. Hmm. Anger is needed, just like every other emotion. Sadness, happiness, excited. Fear. They're all there for something, and we all need them to be at least some sort of human. Mm-hmm. Some emotions. <laughs> they certainly are difficult to deal with. Oh yes, they suck sometimes. <laughs> But they could also be good in other mm-hmm. situations. Ah, like love. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 what? I love love. It's so beautiful and gorgeous. And you can see the amount of colors in people's eyes. <sighs> Ew. <laughs> love is beautiful. <laughs> It's not for me, but it is beautiful. I'm gonna go vomit now. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's not the best thing I got there. Well, love doesn't have to be romantic. It can be with oh, friends yeah, or family. It can be platonic. Mm-hmm. Or with a child. Or father no. figure, mother figures. Mm-hmm. Siblings. <laughs> have none of those, so. Love can come in all kinds of forms, but all kinds of form of love are gorgeous. You sound like an Aphrodite person. I'm not the child of Aphrodite. I just see the colors around people. Well, Aphrodite is more uh, focused on romantic and sexual love. Mm. I'm Mm. more so focused on all kinds of love. Mm -hmm. Seeing the way people light up, there's just something about it. Mm. It's not romantically. I meant platonically. Personally, when I see Emiya walking down the street, I get excited. I get happy Mm. because Emiya's my friend. When I see you come into places, I consider you my friend. (laughs) 
we're allowed to light up at different things, whether it be romantic or platonic or even in a motherly father sibling way. Although, uh, I do understand that love can be a, a very difficult subject, that amount of emotion and intimacy can be really scary. Yes, with love comes heartbreak. Can I just move on from the confrontation, please? Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, heading back towards the conversation of magic, um, what other kind of magic do you have? Um, not much. <laughs> just... That's fair. Bubble. And, I don't um, really have much magic either, so. Uh, weird oh, beam thing. If I do it too long, it hurts. Oh. Um. Well, I have light magic. If you come into my shop, I can show you. But I have a beacon that I get all my magic from. And I have light magic and healing magic, which really helps with the whole healing shop. Uh, light magic, healing magic, and I can see people's auras. Sort of like seeing people's true intentions, if I read it correctly. Mm. Isn't that kind of invading my privacy? No, I don't see people's auras unless I really feel the need to see people's auras. First, it starts with bad vibes that I get from the person. And if I feel that that vibe is bad enough to warrant an aura reading, I pull out the aura reading. Because I'm not getting harmed, nor are my friends. You don't give a bad aura. Stay away from my aura. I haven't <laughs> looked at it, but you don't give that bad vibes. So I have no reason to. Just like I have no reason to check Emiya's aura. I did have reason to check Alex's as soon as he told me he was the son of Loki, though. <laughs> <laughs> you are really disgusted by him. I promise he gets better. I'm gonna hold you to that. <laughs> okay. Because now knowing you have a healing shop or whatever, I don't be surprised by something that. <laughs> Oh, please do! Uh, I'm always in the need for patients that aren't old and feeble. <laughs> How old are you? I am 26. Can you hear yourself then? Did you just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not old! I am in the prime of my life! How old are you? 18. Oh god, you're a year younger than Alex. Oh, what is with me meeting sh young people? <laughs> old lady. Ugh. I'm not old! old oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna call me old lady. Old. I'm not old! Old is like 40s and 50s, and I know old, I take care of old. I am not old. You speak like an old lady. I... I speak just as well for a person who actually got taught in school. <laughs> no, not as in that. I meant women don't normally get taught. <sighs> this is why I teach myself. My library. I got taught by an old friend. I wasn't really taught anything either. Sometimes being self-taught can lead to the smartest of people. 
I mean, look at Emiya now. A librarian. Nerd. Teaching tons of different classes. <laughs> Yeah. I don't think I would have been able to learn all the healing stuff on my own. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to learn much in the human realm. I mean, look at me. I am not suspicious at all. I mean, this tavern, it uses a bit of my magic to conceal it from human eyes, obviously. But if you need, I can make you a training area to possibly help Control your magic? You know what? What's with the Deal. look? I need a, I haven't used Deal? it. Deal? Yeah. Uh, I'm rusty, I guess. It's pointless to use magic on sharks and stuff when you have claws and teeth. And, uh, since I have a connection to Thoth, who's a god of magic, I could let you access the restriction section of my library. Of course. Learn more through your mind and your body. Uh, it's restricted to people who I know are demigods and who I know aren't aren't uh, bad people. Yes. <laughs> Actually, if anything, it's a maybe. You always. I actually might have some books you don't have. Yeah. Uh, I can share books. Probably bring you guys to my cave, if anything. Uh... Your cave? I don't live in the ocean. I know I'm a water <laughs> dragon all, but I don't live in the ocean. I guess I should have suspected that. Uh, don't trust me, it's not one of those dreary... Damn not caves. every oceanic animal is nomadic. Yes. Some free there. Mm -hmm. Like me and my fox. <laughs> I'm really debating it, I'm not gonna lie. You don't have to if you don't want to. No pressure on you. Well, but it would no take us a little longer. Yet, so... It would take us a little longer to get to your cave, considering you can just fly through the water and we can't. <laughs> it's actually if, uh, outside the walls, not that far. Oh. If, uh, sorry. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable showing us your home, uh, we can designate a time where we can meet up and uh, share our knowledge. But like I said, you guys haven't tried stabbing me yet, so. Why would yeah. he stab you? <laughs> well, actually, no, that's fair. That's, that's, that's fair. Mm -hmm. Well, letting someone into your home is a very personal thing, so I understand if you're not comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. To be fair, you two are the ones I quote-unquote trust. In years, mm -hmm. so. I guess I'll be fine with it. <laughs> I mean, you've let me into your tavern, so. Well, any demigod can let themselves into the tavern. But that is true, I didn't kick you out. And I would never kick you out. You're welcome here, and at my healing shop at any time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, nothing at all. What are you giggling at? I'm not giggling at anything. Just a giggle in general. <laughs> okay, I'm good. Yes. Oh, okay. okay. Be careful. <laughs> 